Okay. It's the last couple days of Mental Health Awareness Month, and I wanted to touch base with you. Um, I haven't been posting very much because I'm extremely busy, and uh, that takes a lot of energy. Um, mental energy, physical energy, spiritual energy, um, but here I am. Let's talk. So, some of you might know, um, I own and operate a lawn care business. It's not the name of this channel. I will never say it on this channel. For various reasons but um, we're, we're well over 500 customers and we're spread out through all of uh, Western Massachusetts and uh, we're small we're, it's, we're, a, we're literally a two-man team but we're not a two-man team um, it's everybody involved friends family um, they make the, they make it happen they make it happen and uh, you know it's only taken me 40 years to realize uh, it's okay to ask for help and uh, this year I did that um, I, I couldn't we do pretty close to 16 million square feet of lawn. Um, and that may or may not impress you depending on the size of your company. Um, but the windshield time on that is incredible. Um, the prep time for that. Um, calling, making calls, uh, putting out letters, uh, filling out paperwork, uh, it's, it's an enormous task. So I called in for help. I, uh, I had friends that I worked with, uh, Bob, Eric, uh, certainly, uh, stepped up and really helped me out, uh, with this spring application. Just blowing off driveways, filling out paperwork, talking to customers. Huge time saver, but not just a time saver, a mental health saver. Um, because on any given day, I will get 20, 15, 20 text messages or calls from customers. Um, and it's hard. It's it, it literally is hard. You have to put a smile on your face. Yes, we'll take care of that. Or, sorry, we don't do that. Um, it's mentally exhausting. So, I just want to take a time to explain that it's okay to ask for help. Um, I had my father step in and make the call ahead phone calls for us. Um, which is huge, which is huge. I mean, that, that that's an hour of the, the day at the end of every day, uh, talking to people. Um, and I have to thank uh, Shane and Aaron uh, for lending help from the East. Uh, without their help, I don't think uh, this spring application would have uh, even been possible. So I really appreciate that. And uh, to Tucker for stepping up and taking care of six, seven different towns that we, we control, take care of. No control, take care of. Um, he was all over. He was all over, all over Western Massachusetts putting out customers' fires and uh, that was huge. He did an amazing job doing that. So thank you. 
Um, but anyway, I just wanted to say it's okay to ask for help and, uh, and people will step up for you um, in big ways. And uh, if you're struggling out there, I've struggled, I've struggled for many years um, thinking I have to do it by myself. And uh, there's a lot of people out there uh, to help you. And um, don't be shy. Don't be shy to say that you're stressed, uh, you're angry, or uh, you're sad. Uh, reach out to guys like us who can, uh, who've been there, we've done that, we own the t-shirt, uh, we can help, uh, we can give advice, and uh, keep going. Keep putting one foot in front of the other. Because... Um, The alternative's not great. You gotta keep going. Keep pushing yourself. Uh, there are days where I just want to stay in bed. My knees hurt. My back hurts. There's too much on my plate. And I try to make the best of each day. Uh, I make a list. Writing stuff down actually helps. Some days I get everything done on that list. Some days I get two things done on that list, but it helps. So anyway, I hope this message finds you well. Keep going forward. We'll see you soon. Thanks.